Hello, I'm Jeff from ePass Performance. Today, we are going to show you how to install our ePass system on a Mopar A body, and it will be done on a 65 Plymouth Barracuda. Our kit is composed of a pre-wired control module, the electric power steering unit, U-joints and straight shafts, a collapsible shaft, a firewall plate with a bearing. Once you have removed the steering column from the car, you will then need to disassemble the inner shaft from the outer tube in order to cut the shaft and the tube to their proper length. In order to remove the inner shaft, there is an upper clip that holds it into the bearing. Now that you have your upper, your shaft uh, available, you will need to cut it at 11 inches from the splined side of it. And once it is cut, you will need to put two flat spots on it to make it a three quarter inch double D in order for it to slide into our electric motor. Now your steering tube, you will need to cut it at 13 inches and three quarters. You will also need to relocate the wiring harness exit hole. You will have to bring it up two inches higher than where it originally came out. Now you can start reassembling your upper shaft slides into the electric motor. You will tighten the two set screws and Loctite them with the Loctite provided. Then you will take your upper steering column and slide it over the electric motor and reinstall the upper clips. Once you have reinstalled the upper clip, your upper steering system is ready to be installed in the car. First thing, we will install the firewall plate and the bearing, leaving everything very loose. Then we will install the shaft from the steering box side towards the inside of the car and connect the U-joint to the steering box. Once your steering wheel is on and you are ready to go for a ride, take the time to make sure that everything is tight. Now you can enjoy your e-pass system for many miles to come. <laughs>